Michaela. And I'm Shayna. And you're watching Michaela and Shayna online. Today we are on, we are live on the Marble Floor at the 2012 second annual ASPCA Rock and Roll LA Benefit with Caleb and Kate. Hi guys. Hi. Hi. How are you? I don't. I don't. 14 year old Caleb has become a YouTube sensation with over 3 million views on his latest song, More Time. And Kate is 18 years old and she is has been a songwriter since she was 12 and she plays the ukulele and piano. What have you guys been doing recently? Um, I, for the past couple of days, have been in the studio working on um, some songs for my new album that's going to be coming out that we're working on. Um, and yeah, I've been doing that and also making some videos um, that are in uh, songs that I've made, just covers, and some of them with Kate. Um, but yeah, I've been posting videos and working on my music. Um, I'm actually a freshman at University of Colorado Boulder, so I've been doing well, studies like that, yeah. <laughs> um, but also just playing tons of music, getting to meet this kid and playing music with him. It's been great fun, writing new songs. Working on a bunch of cool songs. Um, she's going to play one today. I'm going to play a few of my songs. That's exciting. Other than singing and writing songs, what other instruments do you play? I mean, like you guys said, ukulele and piano. I'd love to learn guitar just to be more diverse, but that's basically it. Um, I play guitar, bass, a little bit of piano. I'm not so good at piano, but I've been trying to work on my piano. Um, and drums and ukulele. Multi-talented. I like that. So, Caleb, I, we hear that you were um, recording with Jonas Brothers and... Miley Cyrus is a uh, producer. What is that like? It's really cool. Um, I've been working with him for more than a year now, getting together our album, and we we've really the style, and we're yeah we're just trying new things. We've really been branching out from what we started on, and we're trying to figure out like I don't know new things to add to the music, and really working with someone who has a track record like that is really really a, an honor. Well, what an opportunity. Yeah, really. How did you guys get started in the music industry? I mean, I'm just getting started, I think. So, basically, this is my first big gig, so I'm very excited. But I've just been playing music since I was 12, just working up to this point, And then getting to know kids like Caleb online, you know, via YouTube and just internet sites. And so that's what's so cool about the world today is that we can be, even though he's from New York and I'm from Colorado, we can still collaborate and then come together. So basically, Caleb's helping me with my music career right now. So yeah. I hope your music career takes a good turn. Thank you. Me too. <laughs> um, I started working with um, the producer that we were talking about. And we actually found him through Facebook. We uh, we had been researching producers that I would wanted to work with and we looked him up on Facebook just to see if we could find maybe a page or some way to contact him and we found his personal Facebook and my mom sent him a message and was like would you like to work with my son and just send him a few of my videos that I posted on YouTube and he said yeah when can you guys come out and maybe a week later we were out in LA recording the first three songs um, that we worked on with him. So yeah, it's all because of the internet for both of us that we're doing this. So it's, it is really an interesting time where music is just so, like art in general is so, like it revolves around the internet so much. Way to go internet. <laughs> Are you guys involved with any charity organizations? Um, well today we're both playing for the ASPCA event, obviously. Um, the last event that I played at was for We Stop Hate. I'm big on anti-bullying and anti-suicide. I have two songs about it. So that was a really great event for me because, um, I don't know, it really, it was for a cause that I really care about. And uh, yeah, I've always, I've always tried to mix my music and charity work. When I used to play smaller stuff around my town and stuff, I'd always try to raise money for charities and stuff that any, any charity that I found out about that I thought was worth raising money for. Like Caleb said, we're playing for this ASPCA uh, benefit concert right now, but besides that, um, there's a small, it's growing, uh, 
charity work called Come Let's Dance. It's out of Steamboat Springs, Colorado, and it's um, it's an orphanage in Uganda. And so I've been playing a lot of you know concerts, sort of just music for them with their benefit things and their movie premieres and things. So. Well, you guys should be really proud of yourselves for helping such great causes. How do you come up with the ideas for like to write these amazing songs? Oh my goodness, that's a loaded question. Um, I think we, I, I don't know, I play on the piano, figure it out, the melody comes to me, then I put lyrics to it, and usually like writing that song uncovers an idea that I'm working on already and I didn't even know it. And so sooner or later I have a song about it, so it's nothing. <laughs> I mean, the process for me really changes depending on what instrument I'm playing, who I'm with, what I'm doing. In the studio, it's more of, okay, what are we going to write a song about? Let's write it. In my life, just at home and stuff, writing songs, just for fun, and songs for the record that aren't written in the studio. Uh, those songs come more from just inspiration from my life and stuff. I mean, everything you take, you take your experiences and you take your inspirations um, too, but like, I don't know, I guess it's more direct when I'm writing by myself. Whereas when I'm writing with other people in the studio, it's a lot of other people and mine and a combination of just people's experiences and people's influences all mixed. And it's, yeah, it's really fun to write with people. Um, I don't know. I, I'm gonna keep writing with different people, hopefully write a couple songs with Kate. Um, but yeah, whoever you write with, you get, you get a different sound. And, and about your song, More Time, the topic of suicide is so strong. What made you come up, like, come up with this um, topic? What made you wanna make this song about it? Well, I don't know. I feel like you've gotta stand up for people who don't have a voice. Um, and a lot of people who are being bully bullied don't want to tell people. They don't have a voice, and I don't know. It's 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 a very serious and very current issue, and it really it hit me in this kind of weird place where I was like, I I feel like I have to do something about this. Um, and yeah, so I, I wrote the first song I wrote was called "You're Not Alone," and then "More Time" is a more recent one that has uh, over two million hits on YouTube. But yeah, it's it's. It's a topic that really has, I don't know, it has a big impact on me. That's just amazing. Where are you guys from? And like, do you have to travel a lot for different shows? Um, I'm from New York, and this is like my 10th or 11th time even out to LA in the past year and a half. So it's been a lot of traveling, and I'm still, I'm not being homeschooled or anything. So it's a lot, a lot, a lot of traveling, a lot of missing school. I'm missing school this this whole past week, working in the studio and stuff, I miss school. But yeah, I've learned to balance it, but I do have to travel a lot. Yeah, and I'm from Steamboat Springs, Colorado, now Boulder, I guess. And so, and this is my first gig in LA, so I don't travel nearly as much as Kayla, but maybe I'll start. So. Yeah. That's exciting. What do you think about this ASPCA event? I think it's awesome. Oh, yeah, it's very important. I think it's very cool that we're all coming here for such a great cause, all young artists. And I think it's great for ASPCA to put on this thing and give um, young artists an opportunity to show what they got. Yeah, it's good. Um, well, everyone's seen like the ASPCA commercials with the with the like sad dogs and animals and just I don't know. It's 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 like you feel so bad after watching that and you're like, oh, I kind of want to do something. So this is my opportunity to do something. I mean, I, I'm I'm smiling because it's just I don't know. It, it's not a very like it's not a topic that is like happy but still it's it's a really great opportunity and I don't know I like doing things for causes and yeah this is gonna be a really great event. Have you worked with any other um, musicians? Well other than Kate um, I've worked with I don't know some of my friends one of my best friends who I've been writing songs with since I was probably six when I started writing songs but those songs weren't any good but I uh, one of the songs we have on the record uh, started from an idea that me and him just came up with. It was really his idea and then I kind of worked on it and yeah so I don't know I try and work with different people. In the studio we often bring in different like lyricists and songwriters just because to work with other people you get something different than when you work alone. I've worked with um, probably like four or five 
six different bands, and then I recently just went to um, a singer-songwriting program at Berklee College of Music in Boston, and there were 200 artists, and I worked with about mm, 20 of them. So that was really cool to collab and see like where I could stretch my boundaries and stuff. So that was cool. You could collaborate with any musician in the whole entire world of your choice. Who would you like to work with and why? Joni Mitchell. Why? Because she's a classic. She, you know, pioneered a lot of, she wrote a lot of songs with a cause, which is what I think today maybe we're lacking a little bit, and Joni Mitchell knew how to spread a message with music, so I'd love to collab with her on that. I think for me, um, just as, like, to write a song with, not necessarily perform with, I think it'd probably be Bruce Springsteen, just because his his music again is so classic. And I recently saw him in concert. Uh, one of my good friends took me to see him, um, and his songs really are so well written and just so like creative. And he's written so many of them, and he still he still has it in him. And he really likes to write uh, songs for social good, and I think that's really important. And that's what I. I'm trying to do with more time and you're not alone and I think that music is such a powerful tool and you you have an influence on people with music and use that influence to write about and sing things that are important. Well we'd love to hear you guys sing. Can you sing with, for us? Um, well I don't have my guitar and usually I don't sing without my guitar, but you can check out our stuff on YouTube. Uh, actually, we do a couple covers together and with a couple other artists. And my YouTube channel is um, youtube.com slash official Caleb channel. Mine is Kate Brady Music. And yeah, if you want to just get updated on new stuff from me or her, you can check us both out on Twitter and Facebook. Um, my Facebook is facebook.com slash official Caleb. And uh, yeah, my Twitter is at official Caleb. Same thing, mine's all Kate Brady music. What are your thoughts on hamsters? I have a lot of thoughts on hamsters. I don't think I could share them in this time you've given me. <laughs> I have a hamster. Well, now you're getting another one because oh we have goodness. some squeezable hamsters that you can hug and love all the time. <laughs> so we will take this is a the greatest out. present I've ever got. <laughs> So thank you for your interview. Thank, thank you. Thank you so much. And have a great time at the ASPCA event. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye. Bye.